Oh guys, so check this out. I went and picked up this uh, cheap little run around the other day. It's a Mark V Golf. Uh, but what I just noticed was um, checking all the brakes. All the brakes um, are perfectly fine. Got plenty of meat left on them. Except for this one in the back. That is literally metal on metal. So what I did is uh, went and bought a set of brake pads for the back. And uh, yesterday I went to change them. But this side here, the caliper is completely seized. I couldn't wind the caliper back in at all. However, the other side, even though it didn't need changing, uh, the caliper went in nice and smooth, no problem. So this side, obviously, there's an issue with the caliper. So that must be why all the other pads are perfectly fine, except for this one. Whoever changed them last didn't, didn't bother changing this one. So I've had to go and buy a caliper today. So I'm going to hopefully try to change that over and see how that goes. So these are some of the tools I've got set up for today. Um, I've got a brake bleeder kit, got some pliers, got some copper grease, got some brake cleaner, WD-40, breaker bar, got the new pads. And of course I've got the new caliper in there. Uh, got all sorts of uh, wrenches and uh, got the uh, uh, caliper wind back tool Got some vice grips and that's about it Oh guys, so check this out. Check out that pad When I take it off, you'll see properly. It's not even got a mill lift on it Those are the ones I took off from the other side as you can see They've barely worn in almost brand new I changed them anyway since I've got the set for the axle, they come in four pads and there's the new ones for this side. So I'm going to try to start off with uh, just dusting as much of the dirt off as I can. I'm going to use a bit of brake cleaner, get some of that dirt off. I'll let that dry, probably get some WD-40 in there So that's just dried up within seconds Try it this way Don't think we need too much, just want to make life a little bit easier for myself Job. So I'll start off with taking off this brake hose, it's a size 11 wrench, okay so that wasn't too tight, try and loosen that one off as well. That one seems a bit more tighter but I think I've got it. I'm going to have to reuse this so need to make sure we don't damage it and before I completely loosen it off I could have put a clamp on here but there's no way I'm gonna have to try to put a stop in there <coughs> to stop the brake fluid leaking out but before we do that let's try get this loose take this take this off Okay, got that off. Thank you. 
Uh, so I got that through. It's not really leaking that much. I'll still put a stop in there. Okay, so the bottom pipe is stuck. It's just twisting. I need to use a bit of heat on there. You can see this rubber is just twisting when I turn the nut. Oh guys, so I need to get some heat in here to burn off some of that rubber so I can turn this nut. Because right now the rubber's getting stuck inside. Uh, that's what happens when these rubbers get a bit old and go through the heat cycle. Now I can't twist this without the whole thing twisting. I need it to twist on its own. So I'm gonna try to burn some of that off and see if I can get that twist in. So I'm gonna use a bit of heat, not too much, obviously. A bit of heat, just melt that off. And hopefully I can just get that turning. Let's try that now. pipe is turning that's the problem here twisting the whole pipe I might need a I might need a new one of those this may not make it Um, still not turning. Yeah. I think I'm gonna need a new one of these. I tried my best to salvage this one, but I just couldn't do it. Yeah, that's just twisting. That's not coming off. All right, guys. So unfortunately, I was unable to salvage this pipe. I've had to order a new one, and it's a dealer-only part. So what's supposed to happen is uh, this nut's supposed to turn on its own. But when these pipes get a bit old and all bubbly, um, the whole thing starts turning, and that's it. You need a new pipe. So what I'm going to do is, uh, while I wait for that pipe, for now, I'm just going to take this caliper off and uh, just prepare the whole area for that pipe tomorrow so we've got a 13 mil over here we need a 15 mil to hold this nut in place that's loose do the same on the one at the bottom 15 and 13 I already opened these yesterday and I didn't fully tighten them back up because I want to need to open them again today release the uh, handbrake cable just push this in drop the ball 
that go and that should release that. I'm gonna try and pull this clip out. As you can see, I should be able to just push this handbrake cable through. free so this caliper should be free to come off as you can see it's off we'll have a look at this pipe and we look take a look at these pads look at that so there's that pipe Gonna have to go and pick that up tomorrow to continue this job inshallah this piston is stuck all the way out and it is not budging at all so these are the pads as you can see absolutely nothing left on them so whoever done the pads last obviously couldn't couldn't get this caliper to wind back in neither could I it's completely stuck so I've got the old one and the new one side by side making sure they match up oh guys so it's the next day I ended up buying the uh, pipe off of Amazon next day delivery uh, for 20 quid for both left and right they only come in a pair uh, the dealers wanted around 37 pounds but the main issue was uh, it wasn't available for another three or four days and I couldn't wait that long. I bought the uh, caliper off of Amazon as well, all aftermarket. That was £34 and uh, this was £20 for the bulk. Let's have a look at this. Comes in this nice little box. I'm not complaining. So we're going to go and try and uh, put this on now. So this stop seems to have done the job. It's just the uh, bolt with a latex glove wrapped around it and I just popped it in there and it seems to be dry. Oh guys, so I'm just trying to figure out which one's the left side and the right side. The old one's not much help, I've kind of destroyed it completely. But I think, I think it's this one. This is how it should be. Should be free to move. And this is just completely locked in place. And when I was turning it, the whole thing was turning rather than turning freely like this. So that was the issue. So we're gonna go and try and put this on first and then we'll put the caliper onto the car. So I don't wanna tighten it too much. And this lines up with this hole here, like so. Yeah, I'll leave it like that for now. That's lined up for the brake holes to go over the top. All right, so I'm going to start trying to place the brake pads in place. But before I do that, I'm going to give it a last little wire brush to get some of that rust off. Just going to use a little bit of copper grease around here that might prevent some of that brake squeal might make the installation a little bit easier make sure not to get any of it onto the brake disc like I just did so now we'll go ahead and try and put the pads in place Just slide in place like so. That side was difficult to take off, difficult to put on. 
Hopefully she'll be fine. Now I'm gonna carefully try to put the caliper in place. Kind of have to push against the springs to line that up before you can screw the bolt in. It's kind of in. What I'll do is try to connect the uh, brake holes before I tighten everything up. So I'm going to get a rag underneath here. Brake fluid spillage. I just twist this out. I need to feed that pipe through like so. I go ahead and screw that in. Need to line it up straight, otherwise the bolt is not gonna go in smoothly. Okay. Once that is all lined up, put this clip back in. And let me just pop that all the way in. That's all the way in now. Go and do the bottom one now. Just get it nice and snug. I pop this handbrake cable through the same route as it came out from. This cable is quite stiff. Okay, I just got my glove stuck in there. Okay, so that's in place. Now, just push this lever, put the ball underneath and just release it like so. That's in place. And this is the final clip. Gonna put that back in place. That's it. That's all done. Now it's time for the brake bleed. Wiggle this off. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the brake bleeder hose on. Like so. Alright, so someone's gonna press my brake for me while I bleed the brakes. Press. Stop.
press, stop. So it didn't need that much bleeding. A few bubbles came up and it's all the way up because the calipers uh, wound all the way back. There's not much space for the brake fluid anyway, so didn't need much. So I'm just gonna get a rag ready to remove this hose. Yep, most of it's gone all over the place. Just gonna clean it all up and we should be good to go. Put the nipple back on. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the brake reservoir and I'm gonna pump the brakes. So I've topped it up to the max level. I'm gonna shut this off. So now the reservoir is shut. I'm gonna go ahead and start pumping up the brakes until it's firm. Give it a couple of squeezes. And I think we're good to go. We'll do the same with the handbrake. That's feeling a lot firmer than before. Let's go and have a look at that from the outside. I'm just gonna go and apply the handbrake. I'm just gonna check for leaks. Seems to be all good. Okay guys, so quick little issue. As you can see, the spring is popping out. It shouldn't be. So I'm gonna have to take this off. I've not even tightened it up yet. So I'm gonna take it off, do that. There you go, that's gone under now. I screw that back in. Guys, all done. That's spinning nicely. I was gonna change the uh, brake discs, but like I said, it's a budget project. And to be honest with you, there's not much of a lip up top. It's just these grooves here, like a vinyl record. But that should uh, wear in over time, inshallah. All oh, right guys, so there you have it, all done. I hope this helps somebody let me know in the comments and uh, don't forget to like share subscribe peace